Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Woohoo and today I've got for you a 1990 German 10 Pfennig coin to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. This is the obverse which shows an oak seedling above the date 1990 and we see around here Bundesrepublik Deutschland which means the Federal Republic of Germany. Uh, this coin, actually both sides, were engraved by Adolf Jaeger. On this side, we see 10 Pfennig, the denomination smack in the middle there, surrounded by uh, two rye ears, not wheat, rye, above the denomination. And right in between, we see a mint mark, a letter A right there. This coin, uh, as indicated by that A mint mark, was minted in Berlin, but you can also have uh, D for Munich, F for Stuttgart, G for Karlsruhe, and J for Hamburg. Uh, now, these coins were produced between 1950 and 2001. There's an absolutely bonkers date run uh, for this particular denomination. Uh, this was the uh, one-tenth of a Deutschmark at the time, which was in circulation until 2001 when it was replaced by the euro. It is brass-clad steel in composition, so rather uniquely 90% iron and 10% brass. It weighs 4 grams, it's 21.5 millimeters in diameter, 1.7 millimeters thick with a smooth edge where you can see sort of that interesting composition at play. Uh, and it is metal aligned, so if I turn the coin over like this, it remains right side up. Now, you can't spend these anymore. They were taken out of circulation, as I mentioned a little while ago, when the euro came in. Uh, and not that they would really be worth that much nowadays anyway. All the mint marks have a uh, mintage above 100 million. In fact, uh, this particular example, the Berlin mint, has a mintage of exactly 100 million for circulation. So this is likely the kind of thing you'll find in your local coin shop's foreign coin bin for a quarter. That being said, Germany is one of the countries where they would make their pre-euro currency exchangeable indefinitely. So uh, you can technically still exchange these for euros at a rate of about two Deutschmarks to the euros, making this coin worth about five euro cents. Anyway, Hope that cleared up some information about this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.